What is going on guys? I am back with another Minecraft tutorial and in this video I'm going to be rebuilding this police station that I made almost two years ago. The reason for this is because it wasn't explained very well the first time that I ended up building it and the tutorial was just too fast. Now keep in mind there is a three car garage and a helipad on the roof of the building. We're going to be building both the helicopter and the police vehicle. Then we have a basement for this build which has the jail cells. If you want to be able to do the basement you have to make sure your world is at least 9 blocks deep. A regular flat world only goes down at 3 blocks so you have to make sure to customize it to where it goes down deep enough so that you can actually have the basement for this build. So I think that is everything. There's probably going to be slight changes made to this build but for the most part it's going to be the same as the original. But now let's go ahead and get right into building it. Okay, so for this build, you're going to need from a left to right 55 blocks and from a front to back 32. So for part one of this tutorial, we're probably just going to bring up the walls for the first floor of the building, the exterior walls that is. So you want to go ahead and grab some white concrete, blue concrete, white stained glass panes, dark oak planks, levers, quartz stairs, dark oak fences, and then for like the driveway and basically uh, like the texture that we're going to have in the ground, you want to make sure to grab some diorite, gravel, and cobblestone. So I'm currently at the front side of the shape right now, so basically like the front side of the build. We're going to be heading over to the back right hand corner. We're going to start with our white concrete, and we're just going to start by bringing up this wall over here. So, like I said, this back right hand corner, you want to go over to the left four spaces. So we have one, two, three, and four. Now you want to go like back one. So kind of like towards the front of the build. Then you can place one block of white concrete here. So you're right on the edge of this blue concrete or whatever color you used, not on top of it. Then you have two grass blocks here and then the extra block for the edge. So three total blocks here at the right and then one back here. Now let's continue bringing this white concrete up towards the front. We're going to have 11 more. So including this one, it's 12 in total. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So including that one, actually let me see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yup, so we have 12 there. Okay, so I'm going to go back up to the front. So this is the front side of the shape and you should have a strip of 12 blocks of white concrete there at the back right hand corner. Alright, let's head back over to that white concrete. We're going to go at the front side of it. So that at the edge of the blue concrete is the back. This is going to be the front. This section here is going to be where the three car garage is. So we're going to go to the left side of this white concrete. We're going to place one more block. Is that we're going to skip over five. So we have one, two, three, four, five. Now starting right here, place another two. Skip over five. One, two two three four five starting right here place another two skip over five one more time one two three four five and then place three more blocks of white concrete so we have a garage right there a garage right there and a garage right there right on this side we have two spaces two spaces two spaces and then three in between each one of these spaces there's five spaces in total so this is what you should have so far. This is the garage area once again. All right, let's go to the left side of this space of three white concrete. We're going to continue with our white concrete. We're going to bring this towards the front 11 spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. Now let's go to the left side of that and place an extra three. One, two, three. 
two, three. So there should be four blocks in total right here. Let's then skip over eight after that white concrete. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So now on the ninth and 10th block, we're gonna place two more blocks of white concrete like that. So this is going to be the entrance to the police station. Make sure it looks like this. All right, let's head to the back side. So we're gonna go over here up against this wall that we actually placed in the beginning. Go to the back, starting right here, you wanna place another 23 blocks of white concrete. So actually including this one, it's gonna be 24 in total at this back side. So like I said, just another 23. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three. Okay, now what you want to do, wherever you placed your white concrete, you just want to go ahead and add an extra six layers on top of that. So including the bottom layer that you ended up placing, it should be seven blocks height in total. I'm actually going to grab a potion of swiftness so I could get it done faster. And like I said, just an extra six layers of white concrete on top of all of this white concrete that we already placed. All right, I just about got all of the layers added onto the white concrete. So I'll show you what it should be looking like after I get this last layer done right here. Okay. So this is what we have so far, so far looking at it from the front. So I'll go here. It is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks in height. So it should look like this. All right, let's go ahead and start filling in the spaces with our garage doors. One block I forgot to mention are some full blocks of white stained glass panes for the door that's actually gonna be open. So you could grab those. Okay, so we're gonna head on over to the left doorway first. You can switch to your dark oak planks. You wanna make sure to go in one block. You don't wanna be on the same edge as the white concrete in one block from it. We're going to place five going along like that. Then let's add an extra one, two, three, four layers on top of that. So it's five in total. All right. And then we're actually just going to have one more here. So it's six in total. Then on the fifth layer, we're going to carve out three spaces like that. Keep in mind, you're not at the same edge as this top layer of white concrete. You're down one extra layer. So this is what we have. You can then grab your levers and you can point it either upward or downward, whatever you want. I would say uh, I'll have it upward like that. And then you can fill in the three spaces here with white stained glass panes. Okay. And just to go ahead and do it, let's add an extra layer of white concrete going across the top like that. Because that's going to be filled in either way. Now let's go to this space. We're gonna do the same thing. So it's actually gonna be four layers of dark oak planks. One, two, three, then four. We're gonna bring it up an extra two on each side and then fill in the three spaces at the top, leaving the three block gap in the middle. Then you can fill that in with white stained glass panes. Add an extra layer of white concrete going across the top is that you can switch to your lever and we'll just have it pointing upward. Okay, now for this doorway, it's gonna be a little bit different. So you can switch back to your dark oak planks again. And we're going to be on the same layer as this, like all of the other layers. So we're gonna go right here and place a strip of dark oak planks like that going across. Then we're gonna go behind this, add an extra set behind it so it's on the same edge as these doors so we have two layers like that then let's go ahead and add one two three and then four like that so it's six in total and it looks like the door is open 
you can switch to your lever we'll have it right here and it looks like it's already good or do we have to point it yeah it's already good all right so it's just like that here at the top you can switch to your white stains glass block carve out the three spaces here leaving the one layer at the top and fill this in with your full block of white stained glass okay now you could switch back to your white concrete i believe the white concrete is going to be going straight across there so you could actually see the glass underneath but you're not going to be able to be able to see it from up above so it should be looking like this with the garage doors all right i'm back at the front looking at this section here you want to make sure to switch to your blue concrete we're going to go behind this white pillar here okay so we're going to go to the side of it make sure you're one block behind it we're going to place two blocks of blue concrete there as you can see then we're going to go to the left and make sure once again you are behind this pillar and you want to place another three blue concrete now go behind that last block place another two then you want to skip over to the left two spaces so we have one here then two then you could place three blocks of blue concrete skip over another two then place another three blue okay so this is just going to mark out some more walls basically and then behind that blue is going to be white so it's just like a little pattern between like the white and blue for the main exterior walls of the build so just make sure i'll go up above actually you can see it a little bit easier this is what you should have done okay so make sure you still have your blue concrete we're gonna go behind this l shape here so on this section we're gonna place one more extra block like that you can then switch to your white concrete we're gonna be placing a strip going across here so it should be right behind these areas where we had the blue concrete so make sure you're right on the left like <laughs> on the left of the blue concrete it could place 12 1 2 three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so it, sh so it should be two spaces after this blue concrete here now you want to go towards the back and behind this last block and place another 14 one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen now go to the right of that and place another 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I'll go up above. This section over here on the inside are some bathrooms. Okay, now you can switch back to your blue concrete. We're going to go on this wall right here. We're going to skip these two blocks on the corner. We're going to place another three blue concrete right here remember leaving two spaces there let's go all the way back here leave two spaces again place another three so in the middle you should have five spaces let's go to the back side now skip over these two spaces place another three so it's going to be matched up at the front so skip these two spaces place another three again all right i'll go up to the front i'll look above actually i'll look above the entire build so this is what we have so far we basically just have to fill in that back wall there which is going to be some more blue concrete and then we have the shape basically like the foundation of the building done so now let's actually go towards that back section that we have to fill in at last all right so you want to make sure you have your blue concrete go right up against this white concrete here that we left off at and you could bring out blue concrete like going towards this back space so it's going to be four spaces one two three four like that then to the left of that you just want to bring this straight across until you're right up against this white concrete so corner to corner so just to make sure you did it right there should be one two three four five six seven eight nine 10 11 12 13 and 14 and then behind that block right here you should have an extra three 
So this wall is like four basically, then this wall from corner to corner is 14. All right. So it now will actually start bringing up is these walls. But first I'll go up above, back to the front side, make sure it is looking like this. All right, so I'm back at the front. You wanna make sure to continue with your blue concrete. We're gonna start right here where we actually placed the first blocks of blue concrete. We're gonna add an extra six layers on top of this. So we have one, two, three, four, five, and six. So it should be at the same height as this pillar here. Now behind that, where this section is, we're gonna bring this up as well. Now, for these pillars here, so we have this one, this one, those two on the sides, and then those two at the back, these are only going to be brought up an extra five layers. So one, two, three, four, and five. So I'm going to bring up all of the other ones, just an extra five layers. Okay, there we go, those are all brought up. Now for this section where this blue concrete is, we're gonna have some windows back here. I'll head on over to the left side first. We're gonna place an extra three blocks of blue concrete. You can switch to your white stained glass panes and place three, switch back to your blue, place two, back to your glass, place three, then back to the blue concrete, place an extra three, and then fill in this space here. All right, so we already have an extra layer of blue concrete on top of this layer down here. So we want to add another five on top of this two. So it's seven in total. So one, two, three, four, five. All right, let's go ahead and bring up all of the other sections. Alright, there we go. So this section is brought up to the same height as that little section up at the front. Now for these windows, they're going to be four blocks in height. So we have one layer here, two, three, four. Alright, then switch to your blue concrete, add an extra, whoops, <laughs> add an extra two layers on top of the windows. So there we go, this is what the back side is looking like. Now we can switch to our white concrete. We're going to be filling in most of this space here. So it's like this uh, square shape here. So at this back side, we're going to completely fill all of this in. So we're going to add an extra six layers. I just added one, then two, three, four five and then one more so it's going to be one block higher than these blue concrete pillars and it's going to be on the same height as this blue wall here now for this wall it's going to be a little bit different because we have a window right here in the middle so let's just go ahead and do the window you can switch to your white stained glass panes it's going to be a one block wide window and it's going to be four blocks in height just like that now you could go around that with your white concrete and completely fill in the rest of this wall so just an extra six layers. So it's the same height as this other white concrete wall that is right here. All right, let's go around the window and then we can fill in this other section here. All right, now for this last wall, it's going to be completely filled in the same way that we did that back wall. Okay, 
There we go. So from up above at the front side again, we basically brought up all of the main walls for the exterior for the first floor of the building. So this is what it looks like. All right, so now for the entrance of the building, which is right here at the front, you can switch to your blue concrete, go behind this section of white concrete here, and you can just add an extra layer of blue concrete right behind it. And make sure to bring it up to the same height as that wall. So basically like the same height as this white concrete wall. All right, now we're gonna start doing the door. So you can switch to your white stained glass panes, We'll go off to the left here first, right up against this blue concrete, we'll place two. Then we'll go up against this blue concrete and place another two, leaving two spaces in the middle. You could curve out the bottom one, like this one right here, and then this one right here. Now, let's add an extra three layers on each side. And then we'll bring it out one more. And then you could curve out the two extra layers at the top, leaving this second layer here at the bottom empty, which is actually going to be filled in with a dark oak fence to act as a handle for the doorway. Now you can switch back to your blue concrete, add a layer on top of the doorway, and then above it, skipping over this one space here. Now, for this space, you can switch to your white stained glass panes and fill it in with six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this is the entrance to the building. All right, we'll probably do the overhang around the building for the first floor, and then we'll probably, oh yeah, then we'll do the texture for the ground, and then we'll leave it at that for part one. So we're almost done with part one of the tutorial. All right, as you can see, I'm looking at the front side of the build. I have my white concrete and I'm going to go up against this wall where we have our garage doors. And we also want to make sure we're at the top edge of all of the walls that we brought up. I'm going to go off here to the left. I'm going to bring a strip of white concrete up to the front. Make sure to bring it out an extra block like this. Now let's bring it across. We're going to fill all of this in. So this is just gonna be a overhang that's gonna be all the way around the building. Now let's bring this in, fill it in here, bring it over an extra two. I don't know why I brought it over this far on this side, but we're just gonna leave it. Then let's fill in this space here. All right, I'm gonna to try to take this nice and slow so you guys could follow along with me. I'll go back. So we just have one block overhang around here. Then we just follow along, fill in that little space back there, but keep following along. Then we have basically like a two block overhang here from the blue concrete. Now with our white concrete, we'll go ahead and bring this all out an extra two. Until you're up against this white concrete here, then bring it over two more like that. All right, now let's continue doing the same thing for this wall. So an extra two layers. Then we're gonna do the same thing here at the back. So one, two, then fill all of this in. All right, so I'll go back just in case this is what it looks like so it's a one block overhang when you're right up against the blue concrete but then it's a two block overhang when you're right up against the white concrete all right another way to look at it is if you go from this corner right here it's two corner spaces like that so we have a corner space there and a corner space there if that's a little bit easier to understand okay is that is what it looks like let's head back here with your white concrete still, we'll fill in two, we'll bring it out, and then out again. All right, so real quick, we filled it in two spaces, and then starting right here, we overhung it by three from that space, so three right here. Then you could completely fill all of this in again until you meet up with the white concrete wall. And then it's just gonna start and go back into a one block overhang here. Then overhang it here, wrap it around. 
overhang it here and then you should be right above the garage doors and and then you should connect it back to where we started all right there we go so this is what it looks like i'll go all the way around hopefully this wasn't too confusing all right so this right here up against this white concrete wall is a one block overhang where this blue concrete is there's actually a two block overhang all right so for this part here i think what i want to do maybe you could leave it it's all up to you but nowadays i think i would just leave it like that you know what no we're going to have two because it all flows together better never mind just completely forget what i just said all right there we go so now we'll do the texture in the ground here at the front and then we'll leave it at that for part one so let's go ahead and just get rid of all of these blocks for now oh yeah we're gonna do the we're gonna need quartz stairs for the uh benches at the front side of the build so make sure to have your diorite, gravel, cobblestone, and then some quartz stairs. All right, guys, let's go ahead and mark out where we're going to have the texture for the ground. So you don't actually need any of these blocks just yet. Let's go ahead and cut out the dirt first. I'm over here at the front left side of the build right up against this blue concrete. We just want to make sure to cut out 14 blocks going towards the front. One, two, three, four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen okay so we're gonna have this blue concrete here still the reason why we still have it is because i added in the overhang for the overall plot size of the build okay but right here we're going to be deleting the blue concrete so you could bring this all the way across until you're right up against the edge of the white concrete corner here at the front right side of the building. So it's going to be lined up right here at the corner of that white concrete, leaving an extra three spaces of blue concrete here. Then you could continue doing the rest of this until you meet up with the edge of the wall here. Once again, the reason why we brought the blue concrete out all the way here is I almost forgot. Uh, let's switch to our white concrete. We have to add an extra two layers here for the overhang. That could have been bad. Well, not really that bad, but just make sure to add an extra two layers of white concrete for the overhang here. So it is right up, like uh, lined up with the blue concrete for the uh, plot size. Yeah, there we go. So an extra two layers of white concrete. We don't need that anymore now. Okay, almost forgot. So now is that shape that we cut out. Now you just want to basically cut out all of the grass within the shape. Let's not worry about the garage for the inside of the building quite yet. So we'll just start right here and we'll dig out all of the grass on the outside. We'll uh, do it right here as well. So right underneath is the glass for the doorway. So I'm going to go around, delete all of the dirt. I'll show you exactly what I cut out is that we'll go back and add all of the texture. I'm going to grab a potion of swiftness as well to get it done uh, in half the time. All right, guys, this is what I cut out. So I'm now going to switch to my diorite. I'm going to first just completely fill it in all with the diorite and we'll go bad We'll go back and add all of the texture afterward. So let's go ahead and completely fill it all in with the diorite first. Okay, so I completely filled it all in with the diorite. Now I'm going to go back with my gravel and cobblestone and add all of the texture. So what I like to do is actually just cut out a bunch of random holes. So all of these random holes would be filled in with maybe like the cobblestone first. We'll go back, cut out a bunch of random holes again and fill it in with the gravel. All right quick update is this is what it looks like with the diorite and the cobblestone now i'm gonna go back one more time 
with a bunch of gravel. I'm gonna fill in a few spaces here and there, and then we'll have all of the texture done, and then that'll be it for part one. All right, guys, I am finishing up the texture. One thing that we have to do though are the benches, which is really easy. Oh yeah, we have to grab some quartz slabs as well. Let me get those. Where are they? Right here. Okay. So we're gonna have a bench right up against, is my potion, here, let me uh, just take care of this so you guys don't have to get annoyed by the particles. So I have my quartz stairs. We're gonna go right up against these blue pillars here. We're going to place a stair, a stair, and a slab in the middle. Let's do it one more time. Here, here, and then a slab. Then we're going to have two more benches on this side. So I would say we could maybe just leave one space here. And then we could have a bench. And then we'll skip over two spaces. And then we'll have another one right here. Okay, there we go. So just something like that. Just a little sitting area if you're like waiting for someone to get out of jail or something. I don't know. So just like a little uh, outdoor area. Okay, so yeah guys, that is going to be it. Oh yeah, one last thing if you want to. Um, we basically don't need this uh, blue concrete here anymore. This was just so we know where to start the build for the plot size. So you don't necessarily need it anymore. So I'm going to go through, delete all of this blue concrete, replace it with the grass. And then in part two, we'll be doing like the roof of the building and bringing up the rest of the walls. We'll do the police sign, which is like wrapped around the corner of the building at the front side. And then I'm not sure if I'm going to do the helicopter and the police vehicle in that video, or if I'm going to make completely separate videos for the vehicle tutorials. Uh, I'll probably just um i'll probably make completely separate tutorials for those but anyway let me completely finish filling this in and yeah in part two we'll be finishing the exterior of the building so this is what we have so far all right guys so that's gonna be it for part one for this tutorial on how to build a police station if this did help you be sure to please leave a like subscribe for more and i will see you guys in part two later